Congress. But I'm going to start with a quote by Napoleon Bonaparte. Napoleon said, the biggest mistake people make is that they trade what they need the most for what they need at the moment. That's the biggest mistake people make. They trade what they need the most in their lives for what they need at the moment. And that's what we have done since the beginning of trade. Trade has been as long as mankind. I say trade has even been as longer than the existence of mankind. Because the very first thing we did on that when we got on that was a trade. And we had various forms of trade. But I'll just narrow it down. Trade has been on since like the 300 BC, before Christ. But I'll narrow it down to key footnotes in trade history that really propelled in all of this. It really started when the Chinese started the Ming Dynasty. I'm talking about the 1500s. The first time China wanted to go to the world with their dynasties and they say they wanted to have a trade route. So they brought about what we call the Silk Road today that they're finally revisiting. And when they started this, they wanted to upset the Apple Cup. They wanted to create a change. They wanted to become the trade leaders and they became the trade leaders. Because they put infrastructure in place. And tell you what, you cannot have trade without infrastructure. Mm. What is infrastructure? Infra means up below. Structure. So infrastructure are the things that are beneath the structure of every nation that are carrying the nation. So take for instance, the infrastructure of this building is this building. It is carrying the pillar. So for trade to happen, there are things that should carry trade. Example, Third Mailand Bridge. <laughs> Example, Good Road in Tinka. Example, Seaport. Access Road, Railway to carry products out of Tinka in Apapa. That's what infrastructure is. It's like, so the Chinese started building a lot of infrastructure. They had continued since the 12, 1500s. Recently, China completed one of the longest rail track in the world from China to Germany. So now it takes you less than 35 days on rail to carry a lot of freight from China to Germany. They call the thing Silk Belt and Road Initiative. They spend over 5 trillion US dollars every year to build infrastructure. They are ready for business because if you want to take the world, you need to show the world you mean business. And trade continued after that. You had the Trans-Sahara trade. You had slave trade. We forget that slave trade was a trade. Some people became so wealthy from slave trade. And slave trade was so important that because of the viability, the market viability of slave trade, it led to the American Civil War. What caused the American Civil War? The slave owners in the South he didn't want to give up their slaves. And a certain man called Abraham Lincoln talked about liberation and liberty. And the people in the South said no. And they said, rather than all.